Good morning, good morning, man. What's up, man? Just tapping in with y'all. I just wanted to share a quick message today about credit for no particular reason. I got my Apple card today and I was just thinking like how a lot of people kind of confused about how credit works or how it's supposed to work and also how it could be a trap. And I just wanted to talk to, the, talk to you guys about this real quick because they don't teach us this stuff in school. At least they did not when I was in school. Uh, first of all, real quick, credit just means you got the ability to borrow money. And me personally, like, I don't like to borrow money if I don't have to. I think the only thing you should be borrowing money for is like a house, maybe a car. But even that, I think you should save up and, you know, pay for your car up front. But I do have a couple credit cards. So why do I got a couple credit cards? Hmm. Well, last year when I was out of town traveling, I went to rent a car and they wouldn't rent me a car because I didn't have a credit card because, like, again, I don't believe in them. I didn't have them. You know, I just, if I needed to pay anything, I would just use this, which is my debit card. So my debit card is you're using money directly out of your, your bank account. It's your money. You're not borrowing it. Uh, so I was like, damn, you know what? Just in case this ever happens again, let me get a credit card. So we ended up, you know, getting this credit card here, which like gets you miles every time you like use it. So basically what we do is we pay our all our bills on this card and then we pay the whole amount at the end of the month. So we owe zero at the beginning of every month. We owe zero on this card and we get like miles. So when we go, you know, buy our tickets to go wherever we're going, we get a discount. And we got like a $20,000 credit limit on this. That does not mean I made $20,000. That means that they'll gladly borrow you up to $20,000 with like 20% interest or some crazy like that or 18% interest. So that means like for like every, if they're charging you 18% interest, for like every, every $1,000 that they borrow you, they're charging you $180 a year for that $100. Uh, which is, uh, no, nah, I'm cool. I'll, I'll just use my own thousand dollars. And today I got this. So this is the Apple credit card. And why I got an Apple credit card for? Well, Apple recently went into the banking business. So you're able to open a savings account now through Apple. And they pay you up to 4%, in, a little bit over 4% interest on whatever money you got in there. So right now I got a savings account with Chase. Chase is paying you 0 0.01. So that's 0.01% interest on your money. So basically they're not giving you nothing. Uh, so Chase is giving you way more interest for letting you hold your money. So I was like, you know what? We need to put all our money from our savings account into the Apple savings account, which is backed by Goldman Sachs, which is one of the biggest banks, oldest banks that's ever been around. So it's legit. The catch is you gotta have an Apple credit card to be able to open one of these accounts. So got me the credit card. They gave me $10,000 credit limit on this. Again, that does not mean I made ten thousand dollars. And I'll be seeing some people post, uh, "Yeah, I got I fixed my credit. I got a seven fifty. Time to get this money." Just because your credit score is good doesn't mean you're gonna automatically make money. It just means you got access to borrow some money, which isn't always a good thing. Uh, which could what means like. You got the freedom to go get yourself in debt if you want to. I don't like being in debt. I don't have any type of payments right now. No car note, none of that. Only thing we got is a mortgage payment. And we're working on knocking that out. Uh, I got a car that I've been having for five years. Next time I buy a car, I'm paying cash for it. I ain't borrowing money from the bank. None of that. Like, for what? I'm not trying to be in a hole. I'm trying to stack my money. I'm not trying to dig myself in a hole financially. So that's just a little insight into like how credit works. 
how, you know, I've been doing it. And again, like I've learned from experiences, from bad experiences of putting myself in debt before and working my ass off to get up out of that hole. And I never wanted to be there again. So you're a lot more at peace in your life when you don't owe nobody shit. It's that constant pressure, that constant burden you feel when you know you got all these damn bills. And or you're like everything you're making, all your whole check is going to like, doesn't seem like you're making any money. You are making money, but you spent it already. So you're just paying it back plus interest. So I ain't OK with that. If you're OK with that, hey, to each his own. I just wanted to share that because I wish somebody would have shared that with me. Uh, again, they don't teach us this shit in school. I don't know why they teach us. They try to teach us like fucking trigonometry or some history that doesn't even matter anymore, but they won't teach us this. So I think something's wrong there too, but I hope you guys got a little bit out this video. Peace.